We want Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. The MLB trade deadline is rapidly approaching, and we all know that much speculation centers around Juan Soto. He is the prized, you know, uh, slugger on the market. Um, you know, there's a lot of teams that's, well, not a lot of teams, but there's three teams particularly um, in conversation for him. Um, you know, there's not many teams, you know, in conversation for him because the the Nationals, as we know, want quite a bit for him. And understandably so, uh, given the fact that Juan Soto is a generational talent, uh, he's one of the best players in the game of baseball. Um, if you guys know, he, he won the World Series at a very young age. Um, you know, he's compared to Ted Williams, uh, who was a very, uh, as we know, a patient hitter, um, a guy who didn't swing every at everything. And, you know, Juan Soto has great plate discipline. Not only does he have great plate discipline, he has power. You know, this is a, a power hitter. This is a guy who's an all-around player. You know, um, his defense hasn't been as solid this year. Um, you know, he's had some defensive flaws in, in right field. Uh, hasn't, you know, had his best season by his own standard. Uh, but, you know, we, we saw that he turned down uh, $440 million. You know, he turned down um, a long-term contract to stay with the Nationals, and then the Nationals decided to uh, shop him, you know, put him on the market. And now there's three teams particularly that's interested in him, you know. Um, and the Dodgers have showed interest. Uh, the San Diego Padres have showed interest. And, you know, um, the, to me, the San Diego Padres um, is the best fit for him. I mean, he can team up with uh, Manny Machado. And, and uh, I know Fernando Tatis Jr. is out right now, but, I mean, that would be a, a, an incredible trio um, with those three together on the same team. Um, I, I just think that makes the most sense because the Padres have the prospects to pull off uh, that kind of trade. You know, this would be a, a astronomical deal um, if the, the, the Padres can pull it off. Uh, now, there's a great chance that Juan Soto won't be traded before the trade deadline, that he can stay because, look, he's still under team control. Um, it's not like they have to move him this year. Uh, Mike Wizzle won't be forced to move him uh, this season. He can move him next season if he wants to in the final year of his contract. Um, that could uh, very well so happen um, as well. You know, so there's, there's, a, there's a possibility that he won't be moved uh, because we all know Mike Wizzle is looking for a package uh, that speeds up the club's ongoing reboot, you know, and the Padres and the Cardinals are believed to be the front runners at the moment for the national star. Uh, but I think Wizzle would have to lower his asking price because, I mean, he's asking for a lot. Um, the, the, I mean, Soto is not cheap. He's on the market, but he's not cheap, uh, you know. And I mean, right now they're unsure if Soto will be will will be moved for now, you know. Uh, but things have been quiet um, on, you know, um, the trade rumors. Um, there hasn't been many moves. I mean, Luis can still got traded to Seattle. Uh, Andrew Benatini got traded to the Yankees, but there hasn't been a lot of moves. I think the rest of the league is waiting for the dominoes to fall. And once uh, Juan Soto, um, once they know more about what the Nationals want to do with Juan Soto, I think that's 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 got to be the first domino to fall. And then we'll know more. But um, if there's an inability to, to find... A, 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 you know, sensible deal, um, then I don't think this deal gets done, you know, 
But I do think he would land with the Padres. And I've been saying this for quite some time now. You know, because the Nationals are seeking a prospect heavy package. Um, and there seems to be no team uh, more equipped to make such a deal than the San Diego Padres. I mean, because they have, they have the prospects that they can package. You know, they have Mackenzie Gore. Uh, you have a highly hyper, uh, you know, uber prospect that broke into the big leagues uh, the first time this season as a 23-year-old kid. Um, you know, he's had some strong starts um, and some not-so-strong starts, you know. Uh, but you can package him in the deal. Um, you, you got Joshua Mills. Um, you know, this kid is 21 years old, and he is capable of playing all three outfield spots. Um, he has flashed a unique combination of power and speed uh, to start off his professional uh, career. So you can give him up in this deal. You can also package him. Uh, there's Robert Hassel. Uh, there's C.J. Abrams, uh, a high-end prospect in the Padres system. So the Padres have the pieces, and they could push all their chips to the table and make this trade happen. So it's feasible, and that's why I think he can still land with the San Diego Padres. And if there's one team that will get Juan Soto before the trade deadline, it is the San Diego Padres. I'll see you guys later. You know, um, maybe more news will come out tomorrow about the MLB trade deadline. Um, I, I think most of these teams are, are going to make moves on Tuesday, uh, the final day of the, of the trade deadline. I think most of these trades are going to be last-minute trades, the trades that we do see. Um, I think we will see a lot of deals getting done, but not until Tuesday. But I'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. You guys have a good night. Take care.